people of the extended range persuasion, you who would never wear a beautiful, life-affirming, colorful sweater, you in the black boots with the steel tips, you in the black shirts with cryptic names on them that you can't read that means some satanistic metal thing, and then, you know, you, who this guitar is made for. This is very clearly not a jazz instrument. You don't play Russian folk music on it. This is... Daniel, do I have to do it? Yep. Do I really have to do it? You have to. This is a guitar... I don't wanna. Come on. This is a guitar for... Come on, come on. <laughs> I can't do it if I have to laugh. a metal instrument. Oh, nice shaping there. Oh, that's like nice in here. Okay, um, I know nothing about it other than that I've played it for a few minutes earlier. It is from the brand new Ibanez 2019 line, which is why I have my Ibanez rep here, who I guess I'm I'm sending money to later. Um, oh, now I'm noticing that we the lights behind you are not color coded to the guitar. Oh, we please. can't have that. We oh, need please. some kind of purplish thing happen. Oh, this is uh, the romantic setting. Wait, wait, the romantic setting. Wait, um, here we go. There, that's pretty much what the guitar looks like. It's a romance kind of an instrument. <laughs> so, it's the... That thing. What? RG... D? D, D yeah. standing for down tune? Uh, yeah, could be. Could be? Yeah. Because all the Ds are actually, well, they actually just, they come in D. Like, the, if you forget about the, in this case, A string, it's not tuned in E, it's standard tuned in lower. So uh, the six strings come in D, the uh, seven strings instead of the low B, they have a low A, which this is tuned to, and I think that's what the D stands for. R, G, D, take it. 71? 71. A, L, A for Axiom label. Ah. M, S stands for? Mul Triple sclerosis? Nah, probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Well, stands for. Hold it up. Hold on. Multi scale. Multi scale. <laughs> Lilu Dallas multi scale. <laughs> okay. Ah, MS. Ah, makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> See, now it makes sense because it's a multi scale guitar. Now, uh, before the question comes in the comments, what is multi scale for? Is that for tuning stability? It's, people have the weirdest ideas of what that is for. Or into, some people are saying it's for intonation. No. If you want better intonation on guitar, you need the true temperament frets, which cost a lot of money, and the frets are all wiggly jiggledy. Um, a bass has a longer scale. Why? Because a bass string needs more tension. You don't have a lot of tension in a shorter scale. The uh, string will be kind of flabby and then you don't have a fast attack. So the longer the scale, the higher tension on the string to get the same note. Longer string, lower note. And that gives you a faster response. So an eight string in a shorter scale, for example, you have instead of and you want go 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 and not you know big difference, um, but you don't want that tightness or tightness, as Austin Powers would say, um, on the high strings because they would be way too tight. So therefore, a longer scale on the lower strings for da dung dung dungness, and shorter scale on the higher strings for not the ouchy fingerness, and that is why they're fanned so that you have a longer scale here and a shorter scale here. Here, it's about 2.3 kilometers, and here it's about 14 centimeters. <laughs> I have no idea. Different scales. Um, not that it matters. 
Now, many of you will say, but it matters. No, it doesn't shut your trap. The guitar has individual string thingies, individual bridge rider things from a company. It's monorail bridges. Monorail bridge. You can also go to Prague with it. Monorail. Bought it now. Um, we have Fishman Fluence, three position switch and voicing switch. I'm going to go here, voicing one and two. Uh, we have individual for rules on the back. Battery compartment for the Fishmans. Oh, that's for the jack. That's for the volume knob. That's a big thing for the volume knob. And that's an extra little one for the pickup switch. That's a lot of uh, beautifully sunken cavity covers. Now, it comes apparently with these... Don't ask me how... Oh, uh, I think that's included the strap locks from monorail. Oh, shallow. shallow strap box. So they will be squeaky. Okay. No, they're, they're, no, they're, they're new. They're good. They're new? They're new. They're good. They, because they do look different. Yep. Ass lock. Ass lock? <laughs> <laughs> what? Ass lock? S. <laughs> Not ass. Are you still saying ass lock? No, I say S lock. <laughs> I hear lock and I think of monorail again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Lock. Get, get it? Uh, mm. Locomotive. Look, no, that's not funny. Hey, we're having a blast. Shut up. No, don't shut up. Comment. Um, so, the S Lock Schaller, this time non squeaky ones. Um, a little bit more chunky neck than on the, uh, than, than the Wizard. And. What am I going to say? Ah, yeah, that's the Axion label. Now, the deal with the Axion, A X I O N is they're pretty much iron label type guitars so for the huh and uh, similar shapes and all that in the rgd and blah 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 but uh, higher specs meaning instead of uh, dimasios or uh, uh, sima duncans which are pretty damn good pickups don't get me wrong we have uh, bare knuckles or fishmans which higher spec simply means they do cost more money uh, I, I don't necessarily want to say they're better pickups, but they're different pickups and they cost more money, hence higher range guitar. They do have the same beautiful locking tuners from Goto. Uh, the guitar has a guitar tit or teta de guitarra for our Spanish viewers. Um, and uh, a five piece neck made out of wood. Panga panga. Sorry, if you want to panga panga at home, that's totally fine. But you don't panga panga here, okay? <laughs> okay I'm sorry. Don't panga panga on my couch. Panga panga on your own time. <laughs> what I want to know what the neck wood is. Panga panga. I, I just told you, do that on your own time. I'm not paying you to panga panga here. What's the neck wood? Panga panga. <laughs> I know, it's totally not funny, but I mean, come on. Doesn't that sound like a sexual... I want to panga panga. <laughs> well, it's not the Berlusconi guitar for sure. <laughs> Okay, though. So the dark wood is Panga Panga, uh, which looks like Wenge. It's pretty close, density uh, wise. See, and Wenge sounds like wood and not like some sexual thing you're doing back there, but Panga Panga. Um, Ivan is just going way out there to find crazy shit. And then the uh, light ones are. Walnut. Walnut. I can't make that into a joke. That's actually walnut. The body is out of. Nayato. It's an Indonesian wood. No, that's the thing that Trump's got a problem with, where all these countries work together on like a military thing. <laughs> no, that's NATO. <laughs> Isn't that what you said? No, I said NATO. <laughs> that's the thing that Trump has a problem with. No, NATO is Asian, Asian wood, which is used for guitars, and it's pretty close to mahogany, basically. Well, he also has problems with the Asians, you know, so, I mean, come on. <sighs> I think this is going the wrong direction. I mean, if, every, if everyone who, who is not in favor of Trump buys one of these guitars, I'm cool with that, but... <laughs> <laughs> so this is the guitar for the people that don't like Trump too much. Now, of course, you're not going to sell any to the rednecky people. Sorry, rednecky people might not be a guitar because it's a NATO kind of a panga panga thing <laughs> made by Asians. Um, what I love about this, it has a uh, spoke wheel here for truss rod adjustment, which makes it cleaner up here, 
prevents even more head start breakage because uh, less wood is being taken out here. And it's just so easy to like take this Ibanez multi-tool, which is not color matching, and stick it in there and go weak, 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 and adjust the neck angle. Uh, the shapings are absolutely beautiful. This is more of a satin finish. It's not high gloss. Um, but of course, it is kind of the rice rocket finish. And um, I'm sorry, this is not my term. I'm, I have no problems whatsoever with Asians. But in America, when people pimp up their Honda and make it in, in, in this like color changing thing with LEDs underneath, uh, they're called rice rockets. I'm sorry, because apparently Asians do that more than other people. It's not me. Got no problem with anyone. You can be whoever, whatever you want to be. Um, but it is a rice rocket kind of a color. Good. Look, it's purple. And then it's gray, greenish gray, purple, gray, purple, gray, purple, purple. Um, the fretboard is, uh, that looks also like Wangi or Panga Panga. No, that's uh, Makasa Ebony. Makasa, Mak Makasa. Makasa Ebony. Ebony, yeah. You're going to have to learn a shit ton of things if you want to tell someone what your guitar's made out of. Probably you guys never do that. So, we're going to go and do some sounds. Oh, something I will forget that he's here, something a little bit about, which I've said in the past on Ibanez Lilo Dallas Multiscale Guitars. Um, it feels a bit lazy to leave this bit of fretboard up there. It would be so sexy to have the color of the headstock continue all the way here. They're doing a rectangular fretboard and they're putting in the nut at an angle, is that a graph tech nut? Mm, no, no, it's just, I think it's a regular plastic. plastic okay. Um, but I mean, wouldn't it be so nice if that was just the color continued in an angle? It would underline the whole angleness of the guitar because right now it's just straight. I know the guitar is a thought, no, what, 1299? It's 999. 999? Yeah, 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 999. <laughs> <laughs> German jokes. Um, but I, I wish that was the case. Everything else, well, we'll find out. So that's a E now. Uh, we're starting with the Tone King Sky King for cleans, which of course no one that buys this guitar has. <laughs> that's supposed to be clean. I'm gonna tune it again. That's a C. Oh, only the C was off. So the C string, which is the D string. The guitar is such a massive sound, which actually the, well, the Panka Panga neck is uh, responsible for, I think, because it has a very similar sound in fullness to my uh, uh, RG1070 PBZ. I know the name. Um, and that's these dark necks, when Abednus uses these dark necks, a little bit thicker, and that wood just does more roundness. Um, but it pushes that amp already pretty hard. Listen to that. Voicing two. That's monstrous. That's not. Middle position. Watching two. Bridge position. Ooh, lots of bass disappears and mids come in. It's not the guitar for the subtle stuff because 
can't get that clean. Let's check it in the Rev Dynamis if it stays clean. Yeah, it's got more headroom. This is massive. Not just the way that the guitar feels and looks and behaves, but everything about it, it sounds massive. This is for the kids. I'm 43 as of the filming of this video. I think I'm too old for this guitar. Is that possible? Nah. Nah? Nah, you can, you can, you can play everything on that basically. You just have to have, to have the guts to go on stage with it. <laughs> there you go. I don't think you can do German folk on this. Give it a try. Schlager? A per uh, come on. I I'd like to see the guitar player from Kid Rock rock this thing on stage. I don't think it's gonna happen, come on. This is massive. Um, something we didn't do in the other videos is the Black Spirit, which we probably should. Houston Kettner, Black Spirit 200 on the Ultra Channel. I'm scared. Ah, that's why I'm scared. You're in the aux mixed in with the microphone, the MTP 440 from Lewitt in front of uh, this cab, which is the cab from the uh, Tone King. here if you're in a metal band and you need all of sound uh, the amp is 799 the guitar is a thousand so for two grand including a cab you could actually have what you just heard so if you need to be a semi-budget minded metalhead that can kill with their guitar sound that's ridiculous most certainly distorting something here. So if you hear a distortion in the sound, it's just all too much. Holy crap. We move on to well, Marshall JCM 800. I don't know why, but let's do this. I'm gonna check my levels here because this guitar is pretty much killing everything. Levels are, uh, just everything here is rattling. This is a behemoth. Wait, are the dots centered? The lumen lays, let's check them out. Now they're again a little bit 
on the lower side of the fretboard. Not that it matters. <laughs> impulse response? Do you feel that preciseness? Pre Precidity? I don't know what the word is. That's pretty le ridiculous. Uh, we move on to the orange rocker verb. I can't even play fast enough. The, gu the guitar's faster than I am. to the Rev 100P and have some fun. Listen to uh, the notes are there. I'm down tuned to bits. It's an A, now we were in, now we're in drop G, and because of the Fishmans, they're all, list, the notes are there. <laughs> Thousand bucks, it uh, it, it metals. Um, it's purple, kind of a sparkly thing. Comes with non-squeaky shutters, has a barrel thing. Uh, too much wood for its own good, and that rhymes. But then again, too much wood is never a problem. I can get rid of that. Um, and locking, and it's it's oh ha. <laughs> ah, oh, no, 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 Ibanez, you don't get away that quickly. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Um, comes in a cardboard box, which is not so good. You spend a thousand bucks, but then they're all like, me, 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 but uh, we need to make money because we put fishmen's in it. Okay, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I see you back there. You're smiling. Yeah, cry me a river, Ibanez. I get it. 
It's a high spec guitar locking tuners. The Fishman's alone cost 4,000 euro in this guitar. It's true. Um, so Ibanez is actually realistically losing 3,000 euro by selling this to you. It's a fact. Um, it comes in a cardboard box, and I don't like that. Now, I want to give you some options. Option number one is the uh, in-house Ibanez gig bag. Which is this. Yeah, okay, costs 40 bucks. Um, it does this, which means the guitar has to pretty much hold its own shape. The guitar is protected from scratches and some bumps, but don't let it fall down, because if it falls down, obviously the guitar neck will have to catch the breakage. Um, but it has one, two, three bags. I like the color. It's uh, This is a kind of a soft whoo, material. Um, for 40 bucks, this is a good option. It feels as if it's a little bit too wide for electrics. feels like... This could also hold a semi-hollow, which might not be a bad idea to have a gig back that can do both. Um, so generally speaking, for the money, Ibanez offers that. They, of course, offer higher quality gig bags as well. But if you want to go higher quality, and with a thousand euro guitar, you want it protected, I will recommend this, which is the Toman safe case. Um, from Roman, this is pretty much on the level of what mono gig bags are. This thing can detach, it's thermo something, and you can put your sandwiches in there and they will stay cool. But the most important thing is internally, this is extremely nice. And this has a piece of wood in it or a cardboard or whatever at the bottom. All these sides are very protected. So your guitar is absolutely, solidly, doesn't even fit in here. <laughs> um, yes, it does. Uh, you can actually take this piece out at the bottom and then it will fit. Um, or buy the bass version. Maybe maybe for this guitar, buy the bass version. Um, I have an extra video on the safe case, please watch it. I threw it with the guitar in it off my balcony. The guitar is fine. Oh, Any gig bag that can protect your guitar like that is worth 115 bucks. So if you don't have the money and you buy the guitar, please get the Ibanez bag so that you have something to protect your guitar with. If you're traveling more often, get this 115 bucks. It's absolutely worth it. The guitar is pretty damn killer. I probably have never played a guitar that sounds that massive. So if that's what you need, the RGD 71ALMS. That one is for you. Um, thanks, Leslie, for switching. And I don't have any more languages. Uh, animales al final, animals at the end. Uh, animaux à la fin. Les animaux à la fin. I have to learn more languages. Um, bye, guys. Links below.